the 1000 Missionary Movement is committed to recruit, train, send and support young people from different countries of the world so that they can devote one full year of their lives to the Lord for sharing the gospel with people that may never be able to hear it otherwise. This practical Christian witnessing program is carried on to every nation, tribe, language and people. The Statement of Vision Christ-centered missionary movement of youths with a heart of mission. And our motto is, Here am I, send me. Our goal is to protect the Adventist young people from the evil influences of the world and to quickly finish the gospel work, particularly in the unentered territories of Southern Asia Division. Finally, to strengthen the local churches by encouraging creativity and providing opportunities to be efficient missionaries. The 1000 Missionary Movement India values providing a harmonious environment in which our missionaries are encouraged to know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior and friend. Having a balanced learning environment that strengthens the body, expands the mind and develops character. Promoting personal responsibility, leadership development and the joy of service in this world and for service in the world to come learning how to reach and practicing tolerance of other cultures and differences, empowering our missionaries to act upon injustice in order to make a difference, to be partnership with the work of God by training young missionaries in practical ways to fulfill the great commission of the church. Today, a new impulse of the church missionary activity is needed to face the challenge of proclaiming the three angels' messages in 1040 window, reaching the unreached people group of India, Nepal, Bhutan, and Andaman Islands with diverse cultures, languages, and ethnicity still foreign to the gospel is our mission. 1000 Missionary Movement India provides seven day Adventist young people an opportunity to become co laborers of Christ in saving souls in these last days. 1,000 MMI trains and equips missionaries for two months and send them to mission fields for 10 months of service. 1,000 MMI sends around 80 to 90 missionaries to different mission fields every year across the Southern Asia Division, including Nepal, Bhutan, and the Andaman Islands. We are inviting Adventist youth around the world to participate in this missionary movement. You and I can be a missionary for one year and the rest of your life. International enrolled volunteers will work in partnership with the local missionaries. One thousand MMI gave birth to Gate MMI, which is Gate Music Ministry India. It is the first official singing band of One Thousand MMI. The singing band was formed in 2021 with six missionaries from the 23rd batch, hailing from two different states of India. There are currently seven members in the band touring across the country, singing songs of praise in several languages of India reviving the church, campaigning, and recruiting young people to participate in the missionary movement. The response to this ministry is overwhelming. God is using the singing band to accomplish His mission in India. The singing missionaries are also trained as other missionaries. They spend seven to eight hours daily exercising their vocals, practicing music, recording, and learning different language songs. They also have training for their missionary spirit through morning meditation from the Bible and prayer meetings at noon and in the evening. The Word of God and prayer are keys to the quality of their praise. The Gate Band is the singing missionaries of God in the Southern Asia Division. Recently, they embarked on a mission tour sweep India, traveling to different states, churches, schools, colleges and universities, sharing testimonies in songs and reviving the church, appealing to young people to take part in the Gospel Commission. The band will continue on its mission tour. Keep this band in your prayers. 
To continue this music ministry, we are praying that God will continue to send missionaries who are skilled in music and singing and passionate about God's mission. We are inviting Adventist youths from all over the world to participate in this singing missionary band. Teachers love to serve here. Many of the teachers at this school are trained missionaries who have served at the 1000 MMI for a period of one year. Since the adoption of the school by the 1000 MMI, there are a lot of changes that has taken place. The enrollment of the students has increased by double. Scholarship opportunities and English medium of instruction has attracted a lot of the villagers to join the school. Besides classroom teachings, Teachers create an opportunity for students to learn more about Jesus. Students come every Sabbath to learn and enjoy different kinds of activities. Not only that, teachers go out on Sabbath afternoon to visit the students and their parents at their homes. And as a result, they receive the privilege to pray for each student's family, building a strong relationship between teachers, parents, and students, many of which are non-Christians. Getting this school of seven Adventists was formerly known as SDA Mission School. It has been existing for several years. Its establishment was to educate both Adventist and non-Adventist children with the Adventist education. Due to low infrastructure, less teachers who are qualified, and its facilities, the school became very, very low, and they had a very poor attendance. With vision in mind, the 1000 Missionary Movement India decided to adopt the school in 2021. The reason was to meet the needs of the students and the community in terms of physical, mental and spiritual development. Right now, the students' enrollment keeps on increasing with limited classrooms. Some classes have to be joined together in one room. It is very difficult for the students and teachers to have a proper engagement since there is not enough classroom. Additionally, there is no staff quarters. Teachers have to stay outside the campus in a rented house. We are looking forward to raising funds for the project of this school. You can be a part of this mission by your support through donation. Falakata is a town and a municipality in the Alipurduar subdivision of the Alipurduar district in the state of West Bengal, India. The number of population in Falakata block is over 3,70,000 approximately. Even though it has got a government hospital, when we first began our mission here in Falakata, the first demand of the people here was to start a hospital as they were crying out for help because many a times people here face situations like unavailability of the doctor's appointment, unavailability of beds due to less number of beds, and due to the lack of enough facilities in particular cases like fire accidents and complicated fractures too. People had to rush to Siliguri, another district which is about a three hour drive from Falakata and still had to wait for hours days and at times months just to get treated. So in this case, 1000 MMI decided to stretch hands in order to help the people of Falakata while carrying the mission of the Almighty for as E.G. White writes in Medical Ministry, the Gospel Ministry is an organization for the proclamation of the truth and the carrying forward of the work for sick and well. This is the body, the medical missionary work is the arm, and Christ is the head overall. Considering this, we started praying for the vision to come true, building all our trust in the Lord, for the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trusting Him alone, we began to ask help from others. Answering all our prayers, God moved hearts and opened wonderful ways for us in making the vision come true. We could establish a hospital with the help of World Church members. 
and we are still seeking help for this purpose in different aspects and raising funds too. You can also be a part of this powerful mission by joining 1000 MMI as a medical missionary, stretching your hands in many different ways to support our mission and make it more effective. You may email us on 1000missionaryindia at gmail.com for donation and other kind of help. In 1892, the Three Angels' message stepped foot on Indian shore, and through the untiring endeavor of missionaries, pastors, evangelists, and lay members, the Adventist population grew more or less to one million now. Well, that is quite a significant number. However, comparing to the massive population of India, we are but a tiny drop in a vast ocean. The result could have been a different one if there were trained workers, trained pastors, proclaiming the everlasting gospel. Unfortunately, the numbers of well-trained pastors and workers in one unit can still be counted in our fingertips. Moreover, students who graduated from a theology college are mostly sent to well-established churches or join the administrative body, while only a handful few are engaged in frontier mission. Today, there are about 498 major cities in India, and million precious lives reside in these cities. Yet. Adventist urban endeavor is but in a limping condition. Most of these people have never heard of the everlasting gospel, let alone of seeing an Adventist congregation there. On seeing the predicament of the lack of trained workers, it becomes a call for the 1000 Mission Movement India to establish a theology college to train up men who will engage directly in frontier mission, urban ministry and campus ministry. Men whose conscience is true to duty as needle to the poor. Men who will not hesitate to say, Lord, here am I, send me. Oh, heaven can't wait to see the beautiful feet of these gospel harbingers. By the bountiful grace of God, our vision will now become a reality. The Southern Asia Division vouched with fervent push for the establishment of this theology college. Northern Day Union has the vast population of 900 million. And out of which we have only 200,000 members we have. And this territory, we have a lot of work has to be done. Uh, we have few workers, the harvest is ready, but we don't have many workers. And therefore, we want the, our young people to be trained and to be educated in thousand missionary movement. And they have a plan to have the college, the seminary and the college for the students to learn from the Word of God. And they will be trained, they will be qualified themselves to go to this Northern Day Union to spread the message. So we request all of you to support in your prayer and we will be able to produce many workers from Thousand Missionary Movement, Falakata. With that encouragement, we are set to begin our first batch on June 2023. And by June 2026, we are on a mark to send missionaries to cities, schools, and frontier territories. While we appreciate the concentrate progress made, yet much is to be done, such as building classroom, uh, dormitories, and library. And in order to bring this mission into success, we need your extended hands, first prayerfully and likewise financially. We believe together, here a little and there a little, a drop at a time will eventually make an ocean. Therefore, if you feel the call to support this mission, reach out to us at 1000missionaryindia at gmail.com or call the number below. Though the work is great, yet we move by a biblical principle of faith and trust that he who began a good work in us will bring it to completion. Maranatha.